Alright, so this is a video from Game Room Gallery in Ridgeland, Mississippi, uh, letting you know when to change your rubber on your pool table or billiard table. So what we got is an example of one of the tables that we just picked up. Uh, it has the original felt on it. When we stripped it down, hey, it looks good, you know, it's got a little bit of deal here, but as you uh, start uh, really handling the tables, You'll notice that these, even though they have a little bit of give, they're basically a dead rail. So the rubber actually almost petrifies. It turns into, uh, you know, really hard substance after a while. Now, this is a new table, just pulled out of the box. Um, so, the easiest way to test is just grab you anything. You can grab, a, you know, a, a screwdriver, a wrench, um, pin, anything really that can bounce. And what we're going to do is just do a bounce test. So. What we're going to do is just basically pull it up and you see it just goes dunk all right your ball is going to basically do the same thing across it's just barely just going to bump you know and then when you get cloth on it it's even worse your ball is going to hit just barely i mean it doesn't matter where you hit it it's going to be the same all right now you bring it down here now you see the difference that is what your ball should be bouncing on all the way across consistent rubber bounce and these rails are not even tightened down I mean they're basically um, just sitting here on the counter and so but <laughs> if you turn it sideways to get more of a surface that actually hits it look dead 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 this same deal turn on the side nice rubber bounce so that my friends is basically when you want to replace your rails uh, or your rubber on your rails and we go by by that uh, by peeling all of the old rubber off we also replace the end caps um, sometimes they're easy sometimes they're not but basically you just really work on it now this is another reason you don't sit on the table somebody sits on it puts pressure on the top of the rail you know and then that actually will separate your rail now these are going to be crumbly and it's going to take a while to get them off but um, we'll work on getting them completely off but you see how brittle that is and um, so once your bumpers become basically petrified uh, definitely time to replace the rail so what we'll do as we'll grab brand new rubber, K66, K55, uh, you know, and we also have the Centennial, uh, we have Super Speed, uh, Bronzer rubber, uh, we also have Corn Up, you know, style rubber, but, um, and we'll completely glue, uh, cut, taper the ends on them, and, uh, you know, make them look like new. So we'll bring this table, you know, basically back to life. But there again, Gaming Gallery, that is when you need to replace your rubber on your pool table.